Welcome back to the channel Stapa Olhazu and Super Academico and today I'm going to do the pitch for the story Clouders Mary Pop Beyond the Clouds that's based upon and this book that I wrote in 1916 I think no 2016 19 <laughs> I'm so old <coughs> so uh, this is a story very very dear to me of uh, a young lady called Mary uh, a young woman that she's a student and she has a blog uh, that's her blogger name Mary Pop and Clodders is the name of the the young people that uh, go and do their things in the internet uh, they produce blogs they produce youtube channels today yeah, tiktoks all the kind of things that the young people appeal to express themselves so mary pop uh, she began yeah, she began the as a, a blogger that writes about movies movies of her time in case in this case the story begins in 2009 2009 and the the first uh, first story that she projects herself as a successful blogger blogger is the the first movie of the twilight saga uh, the the twilight uh, so uh, she begins to fall for the, the actors and right in this moment a new student appears in the, the school in her class that is um, a boy named Marcus and he is going to uh, get close to her and uh, they will start some kind of a, <coughs> a date uh, in their early days and in the early moments and then uh, a lot of uh, uh, many 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 events many many things happen that distracts her from this 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 relationship because of the mystery that begins to appear in her blog and uh, messages strange messages in her blog and a couple of things that she begins to feel fear uh, that she's uh, uh, maybe is going to be uh, some suffer some kind of a, a, a bullying, a cyber bullying, uh, because of her writings. But uh, in uh, in the middle of the story, she begins to have some dreams, uh, some strange dreams, dreams uh, that seems to be from the future, means messages from the future, and these messages uh, seems to be from herself only older and then she starts to feel fear mm, for that but she got get curious and ask help from his boy her boyfriend Marcus and some point uh, they start to disagree about these dreams these messages because the messages in some way are putting her in a, in a path of being some kind of a a revolutionary influencer that will change the, the history, change the world. And Marcus, on the other hand, begins to be against this kind of revolutionary uh, writings, saying that sh uh, if if she doesn't be careful, uh, she will change the world in a bad in a, in a bad way, uh, in the worst way possible, creating a conflict between generations and so on. Later on, uh, she kind of changed boyfriends in a way that the audience doesn't see how it happens until the, 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 the story is retold by her point of view. And what happens is uh, uh, this new boyfriend, this uh, older boyfriend, appears in her life during a, a, a 25th anniversary party of her parents. parents and uh, Marcus and his new boyfriend um, if 
forgot his name. Um, sorry, I forgot his name now, but it doesn't matter. He, he, they they are very similar, and strangely, everybody notes that they are similar, except her. And this mystery kind of develops something very different since the dreams get more intense and she's in doubt about her choices in life and at some point uh, uh, she finds out she finds out that uh, uh, someone is being uh, watching her moves um, her movements in the internet and she discovers that is a, a, a teacher and a professor that he is some kind of a expert in internet code since the early years of the internet he's a very smart guy and uh, he starts to be a presence in her digital life without her knowing when she learns that she st uh, starts to um, somehow uh, f f uh, uh, run from it but she starts to face this challenge with her new boyfriend so but the string of her as a, a young woman uh, uh, appears during the develop uh, development of the story and she decides mostly because he, he she's influenced by her dreams and the dreams of her, uh, older herself older self and uh, she sees uh, an opportunity to change history uh, change history in a way that instead of the conflicts of generations she can start a new alliance with the this new this, uh, older generation of coders uh, of people of the internet she starts with this professor this he's kind of a begins as a nemesis of her but in, in the uh, close to the end of the story she she sees the opportunity to be an ally to be ally uh, with this professor and uh, he is uh, he is a uh, uh, I don't know he, he got to be uh, evolved she got to be he got to be uh, seduced by the idea of becoming part of this young people uh, new world uh, it order the future and then it's revealed that uh, he was the responsible for a new research in the internet called neuro internet it's an internet that connects you with the internet directly in your brain and so that's how the digital selves can transcend and travel through time from the future to the past uh, through the contact of the brain with this neuro internet and uh, the story gets a little, little bit complicated uh, with the science in that the, the pseudo science science in that but the interesting thing is that when they start to be allied uh, the, the professor and lady so they are able to use this new tool neuro internet to search the solution a peaceful solution for the possible future conflicts that began in the in their time when she was just a student with 14 15 years old and the professor with I don't know, 50 years old 50, 55 years old and they are in the opposite sides of the internet like the newer users and the older users and they when they align when, when they ally the neural internet reacts in the future with these messages from the future and then changes the possibilities accordingly to the choices they are making in this time so i i know it's a little bit complicated uh, there are there are a lot of references to to sci-fi world to fantasy world I I thought this uh, story when it was it was very very common these uh, young adults stories of uh, sci-fi future, uh, 
like Hangar Games or Divergence and I, I quote these movies in the, in the story since uh, herself Mary is a fan of this kind of movies of fantasy and I quote uh, uh, the, the superhero movies they are beginning to to rise as a trend and also the, the use of social media in, in several ways they are, are more intense today but began already to develop this kind of a uh, uh, changes in people's lives in people's behavior because of her their presence in the internet I, I also wrote the story thinking about uh, Mark Hamill as the professor and as the teacher I, I thought of him being the, the teacher I don't know if he's too old for that now but I thought of that. I thought uh, some figure that that uh, uh, that shows respect in some way and is a reference in the <coughs> fantasy and sci-fi world, as he is. Always will be Luke Skywalker. And rec more, more recently, I I kind of rethinking the story. I I felt that an actress like Iman Velani be, would be great for the, the party the, the character of Mary Pop because I imagine the, the character as a young woman, a student that's very joyful you know, with her things and believes in herself and also has dark hair <laughs> dark hair and develops her, her beauty yeah, in the way that and her growth in the in the years appears in the story so I think it, she'll be great for the party since I, I like her a lot in the, the Miss Marvel uh, series and since I wrote this story thinking Mary Pop as some kind of a daughter and I kind of see him Avelin as a daughter someone that I uh, a lot of, ha have, a, have a lot of proud to see making making progress and uh, succeeding in her career career so I think that would be nice but uh, just a reference to your imagination as a viewer to imagine this pitch this story with these actors uh, I thought that Brie Larson would be a good director director for the movie with a, 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 a female point of view of the story since the center of the story is a young woman but I, I wrote as a man I have to project that so it would be nice that I have a, a female point, point of view for producing the story that would be nice too so this is the pitch for today I hope you enjoy eh? I hope you share the video eh? subscribe the channels and we see at the next video. Thank you.